Today I'm shooting my weekly message from downtown Thorngrave. Many of our businesses have reopened and uh, businesses thriving. As you can see behind me, we have some jersey barriers put up to increase the space for social distancing. This morning, I had a haircut at the Hair Apocryphy and uh, it was a bit of a different experience with both Brendan and I uh, wearing masks. But I did get a beautiful haircut and I feel 100% better than I did last week. As we reopen, the three new cases reported in Great Bruce yesterday, two from Meaford and one from Owen Sound, remind us that COVID is still here and we must reopen carefully. Looking at the United States, there are many places that didn't reopen carefully and they've seen a large increase in cases. To achieve a safe reopening, the town, at the request of the BIA and in consultation with the health department, I placed these jersey barriers you see behind me up and down the main street. These provide a place for people to shop safely, while at the same time allowing the businesses to have a street hazard with decorations like these flowers, and also allow sufficient place for people to move and wait to, to enter the businesses. Hi everyone, I'm here with Dave and Trish Smith of the Thorngree Bakery. They've been open all along with uh, a pickup window. Maybe uh, Dave, tell us a bit about your business and what you've done to cope with COVID. Absolutely. Yes. It was definitely a challenge for us in the beginning, uh, trying to serve customers uh, one at a time. And we were finding that uh, the lineups were getting a little uh, dysfunctional. So we added a pickup window so customers could call or email text us and prepay so that all they had to do was come in and, and knock on the window or hit the call button on the window and pick up their order. And it, it works fairly well, and, but it still has its moments. Yes, uh, thank you for that, Dave, and uh, certainly uh, we're here to help. Uh, we have a sponsor today, and we have next review, but the, the goal is have uh, enough space for people to have a street crowd. When people drive down the street and they don't see people eating in front of the, the bakery, they don't want to stop yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, it's a work in progress yet. We may see some small changes, but uh, we're, we're very happy to be able to provide that space. And, uh, some kind of space for the patio now to you know, have some tables out here because honestly, uh, you know, people want to have the bakery experience by coming in. But as far as Trish and I go, because we're a small family business and we have, you know, uh, a lot of staff in here, we want to keep them safe. So we want to keep everybody outside of our building as much as we can for the next little while and keep them outside. And we hear the town is going to install some uh, outdoor mobile bathrooms as well to be able to very happy with that and hopefully someday when all of this gets eradicated in Ontario we can let people back in. Uh, well, I did walk over here from the town hall and uh, certainly it's a very short walk and there's lots of parking between here and the town hall. The other way there's lots of parking between here and the post office. The distances are shorter than a, a parking lot of a big box store. So please come visit the downtown and enjoy the, the various businesses that are open and um, there's lots of parking nearby. I'm here with Casey of the Cheese Gallery. Um, just bought some delicious cheese to have this weekend. Casey's been open throughout the uh, COVID crisis for pickup and delivery, but now she's open and you can come to her shop and, and, and see the great selection of cheeses here. Casey, could you tell me a little bit about what you packed in your Yeah, we've uh, we actually we're standing in front of our fridge and talking to go, which is our pickup and takeout for pastry. We're having a million things in the store and eggs in the back. We have a full online store. We have sanitation. We have minimized traffic. So it's all about the just, the just, the just. Thank you very much. And uh, it's great to see the businesses open to help the businesses reopen up. Have prepared these opening up toolkits 
In here we have 50 masks like the one I'm wearing. Awesome. And also in here we have these stickers that uh, promote social distancing. You can see here the beautiful Blue Mountains logo and there's a number of these in here as well as uh, directions for customers oh. on how to socially distance. That's great. Thank you. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful Father's Day in the town of Blue Mountains this weekend. So a happy Father's Day to everyone. And please shop local and stay safe.